Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Mark Gurmey on again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you an afternoon update on what's going on with the tropics. It is Tropical Storm Brett. It will become Hurricane Brett, and I'm still showing potential major Hurricane Brett, God forbid. Plus, we have Invest 93L, still showing it could be at least a tropical storm as it moves to the west, and I am still showing this is no threat towards anybody and we have another wave coming off the coast of africa and i'm still showing this could be a potential threat towards the caribbean it is a potential i will keep you updated it's still a little bit of ways away never been here before make sure you subscribe i have been here a long time forecasting hurricanes i even live stream hurricane irma hurricane maria for people when i had my other channel on donation kingdom and i do give as much of an early update so people can prepare for these things as soon as possible even Hurricane Michael, Hurricane Ian. Last year, I gave people almost a month so they can save and prepare because it's hard to prepare when you only have a few days. Now, the latest update on Tropical Storm Brett. It is at 22 miles per hour moving to the west. It has 40 miles per hour max sustained winds at 1,008 millibars. And it is strengthening up very quickly, guys. Plus, we have over here Invest 93L. It is at 20 miles per hour moving to the west. Also, 22 miles per hour sustained winds, 23 miles per hour max winds, and 1,012 millibars. So I'll keep you updates as soon as I can. Now, you can see also that it is projected to become not only stay a tropical storm, but stay a hurricane for quite some time, at least a Cat 1 with a big wind field. So I do have links in the description. So no matter which island you are, uh, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, anywhere in this vicinity, you can zoom in and see how much rain, wind, and how high these waves. I'm still showing maybe 12 to possibly 16 foot storm surge waves could be hitting on your islands. So you can see exactly what you could be getting on your impacts. Now the latest cone, as you can see, and you can see all the model guidance tracks is showing this going west, northwest. And this is what the h Wharf model, the hurricane model has been showing for quite some time, including the intensity. Instead of being a tropical storm, now it's a hurricane. h Wharf model has seen that first. And h Wharf is still showing a potential major hurricane coming with this system and still showing that Invest 93L will be a tropical storm, possibly a strong tropical storm, maybe even a low-grade hurricane headed that same direction, maybe even clip over here by the Leeward Islands and maybe by the Virgin Islands. Now, Invest 93L, which will be Tropical Storm Cindy, it is at 50% and environmental conditions appear favorable for further development of the system and a tropical depression could form in a couple of days while the system moves westward at 10 to 15 miles per hour across the eastern and central tropical Atlantic. Plus, a 5 p.m. advisory is out for Tropical Storm Brett. Brett is forecast to strengthen and move across the Lesser Antilles as a hurricane on Thursday and Friday, bringing a risk of flooding and heavy rainfall, hurricane force winds, and dangerous storm surge and waves. Given the larger than usual uncertainty in this track forecast, it is too early to specify the location and magnitude of where these hazards could occur. However, everyone in the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, and Virgin Islands should closely monitor updates to forecast for Brett and have their hurricane plan in place. So here's your timing on Tropical Storm Hurricane Brett, and you can see it is moving towards the Leeward and Windward Islands by Thursday 8 a.m. This is your earliest time. Also, it could be meeting towards the Virgin Islands by Thursday 8 p.m., and it could be meeting towards Puerto Rico by Friday at 8 a.m. Most likely, though, it will be at 8 p.m. instead of 8 a.m. That's just the earliest time. If it strengthens more, it will be quicker, and it will be a.m. and not p.m. Remember that. That's a 12-hour difference. And that would bring about the Virgin Islands by 8 a.m. on Friday and Puerto Rico by 8 p.m. instead of 8 a.m. So remember, the earliest time is 12 hours earlier. And the latest update does show that it will be by 2 a.m., a potential hurricane, maybe even sooner. And you see it will become a hurricane as it reaches the Leeward and Windward Islands. Stay a hurricane, so it will be a hurricane over you, but I will show you what your winds could be, and that will be updated as well. And then downgrade to a tropical storm as it passes by Puerto Rico, Haiti, and Dominican Republic. Now, we do have zoomable lakes, but let's look at the official information. Chances of getting tropical storm force winds at least 39 miles per hour sustained winds coming your way. You can see right here for the dark yellow and the light yellow that you have anywhere from a 30 to a 50% chance of sustaining tropical storm force winds, and you see how it weakens down as it goes further to the west. And your chances of 50 knot winds, almost 60 miles per hour winds you see how it does weaken down pretty quickly and right now you have anywhere from a 10 to a 20 percent chance of getting at least 60 miles per hour sustained winds
And so far, who's going to get hurricane force winds? Remember, this will update with National Hurricane Center. because They do have it as a hurricane as it passes over you. But so far, no one is going to see sustained winds of hurricane force at least 74 miles per hour. As, as it goes towards Barbados, it is at a 5 to 10% chance still in the MDR. It's not even going to affect the islands just yet. I will keep you updated. This could easily shift further to the west. Shown by the latest track guidance that in 72 hours, it is a pretty narrow area where it's going to be and pretty confident by all these guidances where it's going to be in three days. And then in four days, it just starts getting really, really broad and five days really, really broad. So it starts getting really uncertain as it goes past the next three days. Guys, even the next three days will change a little bit. So I will update this again tomorrow morning. I'm going to update the U.S. on this extreme flooding that they are getting as well from the tropical waves that's moving through the Caribbean right now. And what's really concerning is the H Wharf, the hurricane model is still showing in four days, it'll be going right towards the Leeward Islands and the Virgin Islands and still showing a potential major hurricane. And GFS is also showing like the Euro, the track of where it's going towards. And you can see the latest on the possible tracks of this. I have two different ones for you in four days showing just like you see right there on those other guidances that it will be right around here, but it shows it a lot weaker. And if you've seen what National Hurricane Center, it does weaken back down. But it also shows in five days, it could be headed its way towards Haiti and Dominican Republic and then start curving towards Bahamas. Also, another possibility that it has is that it could favor going further towards southern Jamaica before it dissipates and just becomes really a, a group of disorganized thunderstorms bringing some possible rainfall. Still not showing any possibilities towards Jamaica. Maybe a little bit of rainfall. That's about it, but it's still too early. But you can see here from your latest intensity guidance that literally in three days when it's at that point knocking right at your all door that it will be at least a cat one hurricane and maybe even stronger some of the model guidance is starting to agree with h wharf that it could be a cat two hurricane and h wharf is still showing that it is potentially a major hurricane now remember this even though h wharf does overdo it a little bit like gfs usually does H Wharf is a hurricane model. I remember one hurricane season where H Wharf was the only one that showed the intensity of a Cat 4 hurricane coming towards the U.S. out of the Caribbean, and it was correct, and it was the only one showing that. So let's take this with a grain of salt, but let's keep this on a side burner because everything else is starting to pick up with intensity, just like what H Wharf showed a couple days ago. And you can see why this is concerning. Look at the latest H Wharf run. You can see in 72 hours, it does have it as a strong hurricane as well as Invest 93L. It will start ramping up. And if you keep looking at the next path of it, you'll see in four days, it'll start strengthening up even more. And once you go all the way to five days, it has it as a major hurricane going over the Leeward Islands, going towards the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, while Invest 93L starts strengthening from a tropical storm to possible hurricane. And you can see that here from your satellite image that it does start strengthening up rapidly and starts getting a great center of eye and it starts going over towards the leeward islands very strong potentially something very serious to think about i will update you on this because right now it is showing something very concerning h wharf has been showing this very concerning every single run guys and you see how much stronger that invest 93l tropical storm possible hurricane cindy is getting as well and if the h wharf is correct let's just keep this in mind it will be late thursday night into early friday morning the abandon will start hitting the leeward islands maybe even going all the way towards the windward islands and you see how it starts to bring a lot of strong banding towards puerto rico the virgin islands as well as the leeward islands this is showing a lot of intensity according to the h wharf this is very concerning because it's been doing this run after run also showing by the time we go later into Wednesday afternoon, it will start going into warmer waters. And that's why it gets intensified so quickly. And you can see with the precipitation as well as the winds, that this is channeling a lot of winds with it. So if this is true as it goes towards the Leeward Islands, it has started bringing some very intense winds. This is getting over 130, 140 knot winds. Please be advised of this. This is H Wharf, but I will keep you updated because I think we will see an update from National Hurricane Center. But until then, let's not just speculate. Let's deal with only the facts. Keep everyone as safe as possible, but you must know every option. Now, Euro is still on a trend that it will weaken very quickly as it goes towards the Leeward and Windward Islands. So at this point, even though the track was correct with the Euro, National Hurricane Center has this as a hurricane. So this pretty much, as far as the intensity of it goes, shows pretty much the outlier because Euro and GFS is seeing the same thing. GFS takes it a little bit stronger, but none of this is screaming out hurricane for the islands. And you see how it keeps traveling to the west, 
no more threat for anyone else. While that next Invest 93L does take that west-northwest push according to the euro and you can see the latest run with gfs it is agreeing with national hurricane center that it will become a hurricane and it will start strengthening up as it reaches the leeward islands and the virgin islands and look how quickly it starts mauling down just like national hurricane center is so and so far now they will update all their information like they said they don't have a lot of certainty of what's going on with this but so far gfs has shown that it will go right over the virgin islands as well and go over puerto rico maybe get some of dominican republic maybe some of haiti as it moves away and as the invest 93l also moves away then we have more coming into the eastern pacific and i'm showing we have another one coming towards possibly the caribbean once again we can see the latest track guidance on invest 93l that it will be moving more to the north northwest more on a northern push guys and the intensity guidance on invest 93l does show it literally in three days moving towards four days that it will become a tropical storm maybe even a high-end tropical storm plus as we look at the latest update from potential velocity anomaly you can see it is going to unfavorable environment as it goes into the caribbean we also can see that we are getting a lot of favorable environment all the way after that all the way to the beginning of july and we do have something strong coming off the mdr in the beginning of july and this is what i'm seeing maybe headed towards the caribbean as well and you can see this here on the latest run from gfs so you have brett moving over the leeward islands you have the second one moving to the north northwest as well and then we have in the beginning of july we have another tropical wave coming through the MDR and so far it's showing something weak, which would be a good thing, but it's still showing it will head that way as well. Still too far to be sure, but it is coinciding with the same thing we see on a potential velocity anomaly in the model run. I will keep you updated. You can also see that we're getting a lot of lift as we go towards the end of June right in the eastern Pacific. And we do have multiple possible hurricanes popping up as well. And it could be a situation for Mexico as well with that. And that could easily be a little bit closer. And this could be a better issue for a lot more people, even maybe getting to the Bay of Campeche or the western gulf so i will keep you updated it's still huh, way too far to take this seriously we're just getting kind of an outlook of what could happen and it is matching up with the potential velocity anomaly so as far as impacts remember these links are in the description because you can zoom all the way into your area and see what it is you can expect as far as impacts and if you go down here on the bottom right you can go from euro you can go to G gfs and you can go to icon which is another model that shows five days and the icon model is agreeing with the euro so far on impacts now neither one of them is agreeing with what national hurricane center is saying so take it with a grain of salt it could be downgraded but still is showing highly unlikely guys so you can see right here with the euro in the next five days you do have a lot of winds coming your way towards fort de france towards saint marie possibly 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts headed your way this purple is getting towards the high 40s to the 50s and it is stretching all the way towards st john's that's according to the euro gfs is taking a more northern track where it's going to be a little bit worse towards st john's towards the virgin islands and maybe going a little bit further with his very strong winds still too far to be sure but gfs is taking it a lot stronger on your winds so please be aware if you've never been here before make sure you subscribe i will keep you updated and keep you as alert as i can however still both of them so far is still showing it any impacts towards puerto rico maybe some high 20 to 30 miles per hour wind gust that is it that will change and you can see it is within the next five days when it starts reaching the island so we still have a lot of uncertainty all i can do is give you the latest updates you can also see this on the latest guidance so it's a little bit weird with the euro of course i don't know if the euro is an outlier at this point guys but you can see literally that all the rainfall will be southern according to the euro as well instead of northern so it's showing the winds and the rain will be southern maybe an inch to an inch and a half all the way from rosu all the way towards Tr trinidad and tobago and when you look at gfs gfs is showing like it would be and it'll be north side loaded and it could be st john's towards the virgin islands getting at least six inches of rainfall maybe even bringing 10. but you also not only have the rainfall and the winds you also have the tidal waves which will bring the storm surge as well and i'm showing a lot of strength on those also and you can see the difference that it is bringing so according to the euro is bringing these high waves to y'all still by thursday afternoon showing rosu and fort de france so far y'all gonna be getting the highest of the waves it's going all the way up to eight to nine feet all across the leeward islands but it's getting the strongest as it goes towards rosu saint marie fort de france so far it's going all the way up towards 14 feet waves 
as that comes crashing on for Thursday and maybe even getting a little bit higher because we do have some higher waves out here, maybe 15. It still ha can move a little further north or south. And when you look at GFS, so far it really didn't even hit yet. So Euro is taking it a lot faster. And you can see right here as it starts coming a little closer with GFS, it's more northern with the waves. We are still going to be getting 10 or 11 feet, but the main impacts will be more northern. We'll be more towards St. John's, towards Virgin Islands, where you're getting more of these impacts from these tropical waves. And it's showing a worse case of, of tropical waves. Not only that, and the rainfall amounts. It's showing it could get anywhere from 17 feet, and it will be happening by Friday morning to Friday afternoon so far. So please be aware of this. This is showing a lot of serious impact so far. The latest run on GFS is showing it, so that's a good thing. At least one of the main models is starting to come around. St. John's, you could be looking at 15-foot waves, and we're talking starting early Friday, lasting all day, all night, all the way until Saturday, maybe Saturday afternoon before this finally passes by. And you can see where the waves are going. You do go towards the Virgin Islands as well and starts calming down as it goes towards Puerto Rico. So, so far that is the latest update. I will keep you updated every single day and I will do an update every afternoon on what's going on with all this information for you guys. But most of all, thank you so much for your time. I can imagine how stressed y'all can start getting out there because this is very early. A matter of fact, just like I showed earlier today, this is the exact same time in 2017 that Tropical Storm Brett has formed as well. I believe this is the furthest east ever in June that we have had something. So it's pretty historic as well. But at the same time, all of our hearts here in the U.S. do go out to every single one of you in the Caribbean. God bless you and your families. And remember, God is always watching. He's always on your side. He's always working. He's never stopped working. Working is the main thing with our Father. So today I want to talk to you with Psalm 23. Try and give you a little bit of peace in your heart. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless everyone going through this. I will keep you updated. I update twice a day now when it becomes tropical. I want you to be the best prepared you can be and keep everyone as safe as possible. Please help share this information to others in the Caribbean. Let them know what the updates are. That way other families can prepare as well. I wish I can do more for you. All glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he always protect you and your families, bring peace to your homes, and keep every single one of you safe. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Even so, Lord, come. God bless you all.